Welcome back to more Dat Boy's Fortune. In the last episode, I don't really remember what we did. It's been a We always get sidetracked because most of this game is just uh, Drake shooting people in cover. Yeah. He's... And then story happens. To be fair, there's not much of a story in this game. It's just Drake looks for treasure. Sully's dead for a minute, comes back to life, and then we find the treasure. Spoiler. So every, every Uncharted. You just spoiled every Uncharted game. Well, I mean... What about four? Four is, t is that the same for that, or...? Not, no, not really. Oh. Okay, got a point. Because in three, it's more like there's a part where Drake gets high. You can add that into it. Yeah. That's my favorite part of three, is there, like, there's a site where there's a part where Drake gets, like, drugged or something. I really don't remember. Three is really stupid. And, um, you pretty much play as, like, a high Drake. It's, like, the best part of the game, too. My favorite part of three is where Talbot gets shot, and then he comes back and he's fine, and they never explain how. Because, to be fair, it's Uncharted. Everybody in this series is like a god, because nobody, like, unless you're a villain, you're not gonna die in this series. Because, no. spoiler, Sully never dies, which is shocking, because you'd think they would do that. The best thing is, I'll do a slight spoiler, well, kind of a spoiler for two. There's a part where Sully just disappears throughout the game, and they don't really even mention it. It's just like, oh, Sully's gone. Go ahead. I want the library secure. Don't let them get to Sullivan. Yes, sir. Eddie Look, Roger. Eddie Roger. I don't even also, just to I should say this. Um, we bitch mentioned, bitch like, in the last part of the part before, to put Eddie Roger's face over Shadow. I did that for one of the thumbnails. <laughs> I've already made the thumbnail. It's not up yet, obviously, but... Stealing for treasure. <laughs> you... What's the name of the dude who looks like he's from Illinois? Ah, hey. What? Uh, I can't. I can't remember. Old guy, you're going straight to hell. Oh, what the old guy who shoots Sully? I don't think anyone knows who his name is. He's literally only this game, and he he doesn't really do that much. Yeah, he doesn't. If you think, because like you only see him a couple of times throughout the game. Like we, I'm trying to like we've only seen him what like once so far. We only see him about yeah. two more times. Actually, I think we may see him in this part. It's even. Uh, yeah, we are targeting. No, it may be next part. I don't know. I do like this part of the game. I, I like this. Elena, part you're blocking my way. See, that's why I don't like what AI get like not AI games. Like, every game has AI, but AI, AI partners games. is they will always get in your way. Like Ellie in The Last of Us does the exact same thing, and it's equally as annoying. Actually, it might be worse, but. Because Ellie will just get stuck, and I'm just like, dude, just move. Like, I know I haven't played Bioshock Infinite, but um, what's the name of the AI I was going to mention Elizabeth. Yeah, she she isn't that good. She always gets stuck in shit. That's, that's a story for another time, though, because Bioshock Infinite tries to make out like Elizabeth's really important, but she's just a glor glorified like um, ammo giver. Ammo supplier, even. To be fair, that's, that's more helpful than, like, Ellie. Ellie doesn't do it's anything. It's helpful, but, like, I remember the pre-release trailers. It made out, like, she could do really cool shit, but she doesn't. Alright, I got a quick question. I've been wanting to play Bioshock Infinite one day. But, like, do you need to play Bioshock 1 and 2 before you play Infinite? No. Oh, so you can just no. play it on your own. Yeah, you can... Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't announced, like, a new Bioshock. I'm not counting that collection, but I'm surprised they haven't announced a new one. Well, um, Irrational shut down, didn't they? That's oh, did they? Go. Yeah. Why did they shut down? I don't know, I just think, um, Ken Levine went on Who Created Bioshock. I think he's making movies now. So it's like, uh, fuck video games. Oh, so Bioshock... Oh, okay, you think Bioshock's dead, or you think it's... No, because 2K own it, so they could easily do another one. Oh, okay. Just without the original, uh, studio. That, that could be a good or bad thing, though, because we've seen, like, different franchises get, like, adopted, I guess that's the right word, from, like, other studios, and they can either be really good or really crap, and it just... Yeah. Crash is the main example, but it relates to At the dog. time of this recording, next week's quite a good week for video games, uh... Well, one of them is Gravity Rush 2 announcement. <laughs> I, love, about... <laughs> I knew immediately, I was like, he's going to bring yep. up Sonic and Gravity Rush. And I'm like, he's yep. going to say one of them good, one of bad. Those two specifically. But yeah, I mean, Gravity Rush looks fun. Like, it relates because that's a Sony franchise, I mean. But I do want to yeah. play that. Because, I mean, it's also going to remaster for people who don't know. I know you like it a lot, but... Yeah. 
I mean, we saw that leak on that website. It's like, what, like December 18th or something? December 1st. Oh. Do you think it'll do well? I mean, because that's a rough... No. Like, oh, okay. Cause no. Because they're, they're put in December, which I don't think will work anyway. Of course it won't. It won't do well at all. Because I know the remaster for one did not do well. Like, it bombed, apparently. Which is sad, because I know people really like those games, or the, the game, but... Well, if Sony would rather show LEGO Star Wars than uh, Gravity Rush 2 of their E3 conference, then you know. Yeah. Fuck, man. Well, to be fair, with that conference, while it was good, there's a lot they could have shown. Like, they... I mean, no, I know, like, they really could just skip COD this year. Cause, I mean, everybody knows what COD is at this point. They could have shown Gravity Rush. I would have got a kick out of it, I mean. What is... Okay, this is really random, but what is your favorite Sony franchise? Because... I don't... Ugh. That's... I... Um... The game that you can Pro play? <laughs> You can't play any Sony game. Um, Gra later. probably Gravity Rush is my favorite Sony IP, honestly. Even though that's one game, I'm gonna cheat and count Kingdom Hearts just because the main games are on Sony consoles. So. Wait, did you say Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I said I'm gonna cheat. Oh, all right, counts, I guess. I I don't have one. <laughs> I I can't pick favorites with anything because. I'll... Heavy Rain, well, Beyond Two Souls. No, no. Oh, Heavy Rain, I haven't played it, but I'd still put that over Beyond Two Souls. Cause, oh my god, Beyond Two Souls is one of the most boring things I've ever played. Like, it's not even like Heavy Rain where it's like funny bad. It's just like it's boring bad. Like, like I've seen like LPs of it, and like most of them when I watch them, people are just kind of bored. It's like there's nothing you can say about that game. Plus, the, I, I like, I like um, Ellen Page. I think she's super funny. But, like, not super funny, but I think she's funny. But she cannot save that game because her character is, like, tedious. Not even the Green Goblin can save it. He's not even in that game that much. Like, for, well, okay, I haven't finished it, is what I should say, but she's not in it a lot. You're the one who's out, Gobby. Out of your, your mind. mind. I don't like this section because you have to wait for Elena and she'll take the longest time to get here. And I didn't really know that. Because most, like, the first time I played through this game, she was already there. So I was like, oh, I got nothing to worry about. But. So Drake is running around. Yeah, so he's running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow his Elena. I don't know. So, um, another another detour. How about that Final Fantasy Fifteen? It looks. That's... I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. But I'm getting more excited about it now. I go through bursts where I'm like, eh, but I'm like, ooh, but I'm like, uh, I I don't know. I hope it's good. It pr it probably will be. I just want a good. Like I mean, I hear Fourteen's good, but I just want a good Final Fantasy game. Like a good like. Main, like, actual. What am I trying to say here? Uh. Like, numbered Final Fantasy game. There you go. Because the last. If you. I'm, I'm not going to count 13 too. I know people like that. I haven't played it. So, like, the last, I'd say, good one was probably. That I've played was 10. So. Apparently, the FF15 movie they made is doing really well in Japan, like, review wise. Apparently, it's actually meant to be good. Like, the one about, like, Noxus' dad or whatever? Yeah, um, yeah, that one. You think we'll. I mean, we'll get that eventually. Well, I'm trying to think. If it came out in Japan, it'll probably be a few months later. It comes out here in September, I think. Because the thing is, um. For us, at least when it comes to, like, anime movies, it takes, like, a year. Not a year. It takes, like, a half a year for us to usually to get it. Like, subbed, I mean. Because movies take... I mean, don't get me wrong. Take, like, subbing stuff's not easy, I'd imagine. But, like, subbing a movie's probably harder, I guess. I love sniper rifles in Uncharted games. I like sniper rifles. Oh, here's the... If I play any game with a gun, I'm gonna get the sniper rifle. Because sniper rifle is the best gun. I mean... Or the shotgun. I, th I think the shotgun's really useful in Uncharted as well. Well, in the first game, I don't think so. In, like, 3, definitely. Because that's where I use it most. Because I don't know why. I think they beefed it up in 3. Yeah, in well, it's mainly because in 3, enemies start to flank you and get close to you more. So, um... Because in 2, I never really... I, I use it if I have no other gun, but I don't use a shotgun much in 2. Because they tend to be more, I guess, long distance, I guess. I don't know.
speaking of remasters, because why not? What do you think about Modern Warfare's remaster? It looks pretty good, actually. Like, in terms of a remaster, I thought it was just going to be a standard bug job, but they seem to put more effort into it than expected. It, I wish they would sell that separately. Because I'd, I'd buy They it. will. You like, know they will. Well, obviously, but, like, eventually, like, they should sell it. Like, okay, at the beginning, they should sell it separately from a... I think it's the only treasure we actually find in the LP. It's, I'm pretty sure. But... I just sell that separately than, uh, what's the new one? Advanced Warfare or something? Oh no, the new one's Infinite Warfare. Advanced Warfare was the last one. Oh, well, for, the game that nobody really is caring about for the most part. Because most people are going to buy the new Battlefield over that, apparently. From what I've seen. But, I don't know. Drake, you gotta run. I love that gun, by the way. That gun's really good. If you can ever get a hold of one, get it, I mean. That must be the library. God, I'm so glad because we're recording this on a Friday and I'm so glad it's a weekend so I can play video games. I can play more games. And then I have next Monday off. Well, not this Monday, like a week Monday. Why'd you get this week off? No, I don't get this week off. I mean, next week Monday off because I've booked it off. Oh. She worked in this little bar in the Philippines. Oh, man. She had a smile. This part's really annoying in the next part. Not because the fight's hard, because I hate the puzzle in it. Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4 or 11. They called it a spinner because... Will you shut up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. I like this always just talking to these guys. Like, he doesn't really care. He's just... I could potentially die, but I'm going to talk to him anyway. That's just Sully, isn't it? And written in Spanish. Yeah, well, hurry it up. I still think whenever they do the movie, they need to get J.K. Simmons to play him. Will they die? Find out next time on Dat Boy Z.